GitHub Container Registry improves how we handle containers within GitHub. Let's see what it is, how it works, and if it's better than Docker Hub. This is a 3 Minutes Friday. Hi everybody, welcome back to Coder Dave, where we talk about DevOps, especially with GitHub and Azure DevOps. And welcome to a new episode of the 3 Minutes series. As you know, in each episode, I will try and explain a concept, showcase a product or a service, and yet try and teach you something, and all in just three minutes. Short videos, big value, hopefully. Today we talk about GitHub Container Registry, but let's start the clock and get into it. The GitHub Container Registry is a modified version, revised version of GitHub packages. It not only replaces the package's Docker service, but also it represents a fundamental shift in how GitHub will provide packages to its customers. Because packages now are tied to user accounts and organizations rather than to repos directly. And in case of the GitHub Container Registry, it also has its own URL, gacr.io. And GitHub Container Registry, or GACR, is also a step forward in the cloud native journey for CI CD systems. In fact, it's built from the latest distribution of the Docker registry, but it also supports OCI format. Pushing a container to GHCR is really straightforward and easy. In fact, all you need to do is login using the GitHub username and a personal access token with the right packages scope, for example, using the Docker login command, and then just push the Docker image as you would normally do. You just have to tag your image with this format over here, in which owner is your user account or the organization that owns that particular container registry. And if you're doing it in GitHub Actions, it's even easier. You can in fact use the GitHub underscore token environment variable instead of your path github.actor to automatically retrieve the current user running the workflow, and github.repository underscore owner to automatically get the user or organization these containers belongs to. So now the million dollar question. Is it better than Docker Hub? Let's see. You can link GACR to a repo, so you can get the readme directly as description for that image. And you also have granular control of the permissions. You can restrict the usage of the container image only to some of your repos or your organization's repos, and you can also manage the permissions for individual users or teams. Finally, you can change the visibility of the container image between private and public. So is it better than Docker Hub? Well, you tell me, but for me, I think it is. Note that the container registry is currently in public beta and may be subject to changes. It's free for public images and it's still free for private images while in beta. But when it comes GA, then it will follow the same pricing structure than GitHub packages because, as I said before, it's part of GitHub packages. Also, remember that to use the container registry feature, you must enable the feature preview. Just go to your profile settings and access the feature preview submenu. And we're done. Let's stop the clock. Today, I've stayed within the three minutes. I, did I stay within the three minutes? I'm, I'm not sure. Anyway, what do you think about the GitHub Container Registry? Are you using it? Do you plan to use it? And if not, why? Or if yes, why are you using it over, let's say, Docker Hub or anything else? Let me know in the comment section below, okay? Also, you may want to check this video over here in which I explain how you can do CD and deployment and promotion across environments of containers the right way. But that's it for me. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I see you in the next video here at Coded Dave. Oh.